Yes. People love your lipstick. Love them. Mm. Huh. Congratulations, man. Congratulations. We are we're here and the team was announced, 23 player team. Beautiful, beautiful. And you are within. Must be a very good feeling. Yeah, definitely is a good feeling. Um, this is the biggest tournament in the world. Everybody dreams of being at this stage. Um, I mean, I remember playing really, really good teams that really deserved to be uh, a part of this tournament. But unfortunately, they couldn't make it. Obviously, um, myself and the girls, we put in a lot of hard work to make sure that we put ourselves in this position. So I'm really excited about it, uh, overwhelmed at the same time. Mm. What did it take for you? I mean, you joined TS Galaxy after spending some time on the sidelines without a team. What made you to go to TS Galaxy? Because I remember when you were signed then, unveiled, I was like, will she play? What will she do? How will she do? Because she was out of Banyana. So what worked for you? What worked for me was definitely, first of all, trying to find a new team. Um, I was in Spain, as we know, last year, and it's extremely difficult that side. And unfortunately, I couldn't renew my, my contract. So I decided to come back home and then joined TS Galaxy. You know, Tim Sukazi did a wonderful thing by forming a women's team, which helped a lot of the girls um, in the Hollywood Beds uh, Women's Soccer League because it strengthened the league, um, Mami Lodi Sundowns, for example, have been a team that's been dominating for years and years. So for them, you know, for us to kind of just give them a little bit of a resistance, I mean, they still are dominant to this day, but my move to TS Galaxy was one where I could get game time. I could be in a team that I felt that they would take care of me and I would really do well in. You joined TS Galaxy. Why TS Galaxy when there was sundowns when there was Royal AM. Why is TS? People offer you contracts, right? People come to you, they approach you. I don't remember having any approach from sundowns being interested in me. I don't know if they knew whether I was a free agent or not, but you know, that, that that's out of the bag, you know, I don't know how that went out. But I accepted TS Galaxy from the get-go because it's a new team. It's fresh, uh, nobody knows what to expect from them. So many good players coming from different teams, coming together at TS Galaxy. So I took that. I saw you scooping the player of the match the other day, and I was looking at your socials and I was saying, hmm, somebody is getting game time and somebody is getting big things. <laughs> Must be a good feeling. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, it's always good to give a good performance, uh, you know, especially in a team that has so much, so much high hopes for you and that expects so much uh, from me because, you know, I play for the national team. I'm considered as one of the most experienced players on the team, you know, with the likes of Mamelo, Mbumi, Vivo, Busisi Wendimeni. And there are many other girls who've never been in the national team, but who are doing extremely well, like Erin Hertz. Um, uh, Precious Sesweni, those are really, really good uh, players that could actually um, make it far or are actually uh, helping the team. Let's go back to the big one. 23 player squad, you made it. Ah, yes! <laughs> so, yeah, the time to cross fingers is over now. Um, I made it. I'm excited about it, but it's, it's, it's never over until I really get to Australia where I put my foot on that field because tomorrow it's back to training again. Tomorrow we're having a double session. <laughs> we have a train. Yeah, we have training in the morning and gym in the afternoon. It's tough at camp. Um, the coach really wants us in top shape. They really want us to do well at the World Cup. So <sighs> it's difficult. Taking from the World Cup, uh, talking the World Cup now, taking from the WEFCON experience, what, are you, what is it that you're taking into this World Cup, knowing that you've already been chosen within the 23, among the 23 players, and looking at how you guys did in the WEFCON and going into the World Cup now? It's a big stage now. Absolutely. Confidence would be the first thing. We were extremely confident at WEFCON that we were going to win that trophy. So in going to the World Cup, we may have different objectives in terms of that, but the first thing that we take is uh, confidence. The girls are 
determined, they are dedicated, no doubt about commitment. So with that being said, also the some girls that uh, played in the World Cup in 2019, we rely on them to just guide us a little bit about the intensity, the pressure that's there and what to expect from the teams that we're going to be playing. So it's going to be a tough tournament, but we're looking for for it. Looking at your group, uh, where do you think the stumbling block may be? And when you count your points from the top of your head, where do you think, ah, here we get, can get one point, here we can get three? What are you looking at? It's, it's very difficult to say, you know, because even if the top ranking team, right, which is Sweden in our group, can be, you know, on the first day, they could have their worst game of the tournament, you know, and then we could come out victorious. But teams like Argentina and, and Italy, they are a pretty, I mean, they are pretty strong teams, so we should not actually, you know, just kind of undermine them. But every single game, I'm going to say, we're looking to get points. It really does not matter because we've played uh, Sweden before. They've come here in South Africa and we've performed well against them. So we really do have a chance, although they've improved over the years. Yeah. From the Sarek region, you're taking Zambia with you. <laughs> and you yes. know, the, the rivalry between Zambia and South Africa is always there. I mean, it's always out there. And if you can look at how now you're going in there, you're facing the world with your fellow Southern Africans. Does it make it a bit lesser in terms of the tension between the Zambians and the South Africans? I hope so. I hope so because we go there as um, Africans, first of all, and again as neighbors. So <laughs> the very fact that now both of us are in the World Cup, I'm going to be supporting Zambia, to be honest. I'm going to be supporting them because they are my sisters. They come from home, so now we face the world. So it's like, uh, yes, one of my African teams is playing, so I'm really excited for their journey. Mm -hmm. So who did you tell about your call-up when you knew that your name was in the last 23? Who did you first call? Nobody. Nobody? Yes. Why? Because I wanted it to be televised on national television then from there everybody can text me if they want but it, uh, right now I'll, I'll go call my parents you will call it your parents yes <laughs> but then what i mean barring injuries and anything else that happens on this let's take it i mean now that you've made the cut what do you do is there any spiritual thing that you do is there any ritual that you do or is it any uh, belief that you have that you need to stick to yeah that's a very important question thank you for asking that i pray i do lots of prayer um also going home just helps going to see family just reconnecting with the soil and just walking around the yard seeing goats uh, listening to the my people's language and seeing the grandmothers just the neighbors around town walking around the neighborhood that in itself is therapy for me. So if I can get home and just do that and pray, I'm enough. Talking about home and touching base with family, I saw your Instagram, you're with your other friends from the US, was it? Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, I saw that, I saw that. <laughs> Take us through that, man. I mean, you touch base with your old school mates and how, how was that experience? That experience is, is so difficult, extremely difficult for me to talk about. It's it's what I described on the Instagram page that it's such a fragile place for me to, to, to sit in and still is because last week uh, my former coach actually sent me a picture of the locker room and my picture is, is printed in the locker room amongst other um, good players that have played in the program. So it was an overwhelming feeling for me to actually see my picture on the school's wall and it, there's only about six players on that wall and it's a whole locker room who do i think i am in order for me to be on that wall who do they think i am i, I don't i don't i don't get it so um that's just one example there's so many experiences i've had in the united states that are just so overwhelming to me I, I just cannot find words to describe them. We're proud of you, man. Um, go out there. We'll talk just before you leave for the World Cup, and hopefully um, nothing comes your way in terms of the, 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 the negative things. Um, I mean, all those who just didn't make it, we wish them well as well. Uh, hopefully you guys will get us what we need. I mean, that advancement, that's all we need. In Jesus' name, we pray for positive things. Amen. <laughs>